So, for example, you go outside and one of the famous pantry dishes you guys see is crumb caramel. Oh, you can call it crumb custard or custard or whatever. So, today I thought why not share the recipe with you guys. So, let's get started. So, first off, we need sugar, vanilla essence, coloring essence, which is optional. Uh, we need milk and your swimming dish. And we will be making a syrup. I will show you that next part. So, we'll start off. For the first part, we need two eggs whole and two other two eggs just the yolk so don't ask me how I split uh, I don't want to show you that but I got all my four eggs in my mixer so again two whole eggs and two only yolks so let's start mixing them first so when you've equally distributed all of your yolk now let's add in the milk so uh, before, as I told you before, we, we won't add milk first because when we add milk, there, there's a chance breaking in the portion so we're gonna add sugar next or it's up to you but then I recommend adding sugar first so we can get the hard mixers first then so we're going to add for 7 spoons of sugar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. I know it's a lot of sugar, but I can tell you it's going to be worth the last. Now let's get the sugar aside. We're going to need that for the base. Now let's give it a mix again. This time you want to be sure that everything is mixed well. You don't have any lumps in it. And that's going to taste one more thing. So one more thing. Uh, as you know, our school is starting uh, from tomorrow. So I will only be uploading one video per week. Now onwards. But then I'm still going to try my best to keep you guys entertained. And, uh, share my recipe so you guys can try it out so uh, now we add the milk okay ladies and gentlemen next up milk two so i recommend two cups of milk for the best result but if you're making for more people it depends on you boys so one cup in now second cup let's get it filled up to the top now oh that sound that was weird now, give it a mix again. Oh, I'm gonna have to be slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down there. Okay, now slow miss. I'm gonna go ahead here, small. So, this is gonna be a boring part. So, I'm gonna rewind. Uh, no, sorry, forward this. Okay, so we've got everything settled well and awesome. Now, let's go for the vanilla essence. So, vanilla essence, you know, vanilla, custard, same thing. So, we're gonna go ahead and add this. I recommend adding this because it's gonna give you better taste to it and better smell and blah 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 blah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add about one teaspoon of it. Now keep that aside. Give, oh, look at that, it's bubbling now. Don't worry, it's just it's normal. Now we're gonna give a mix to that too. Now, this is an optional step you guys can go ahead with. But this is called Connelly Essence. It seems like an essence, but then it's got a hard nectar. So you have to be sure not to add much for this. Just a bit. Just for a small texture. Okay, we've got that in. Look at that. It looks like a major art piece. Okay. Now we're gonna give one last mix. So ladies and gentlemen, we have got our base ready. Now let's go make the sugar syrup for this. Not exactly sugar syrup, but the base. Hey, Coach, can, uh, can you spare two minutes of yours by the time you mix that up? Yeah, sure. You can spare two minutes of yours. Anyway, I have to give it a good mix. Okay, thanks for the two minutes. Uh, so why give this two minutes? Because I'm going to give a shout out to my other channel, which is called Chickity Music. If you guys like this channel, you probably would like my other channel. So it's called Chickity Music. It's about music, vlogs, blah, 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 blah. So don't forget to go there and subscribe. And I will drop a link of that below so you guys can click it. Maybe write a video somewhere. Okay, and if you like that channel, you might also like this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and drop a like here also. And if you're wondering how I'm this tall, I'm not really this tall. I'm just standing on a stupid boys and girls. So now let's go to the syrup. Okay, now what we're gonna cook here is the base, which gives the color for our custard. So I've got my pan heated up. Now let's go ahead and add three spoons of hot water. One, two, and three. Put that aside. Now lower the sip. Get a gas swim. Now get half cup of sugar in there. Get yourself a spatula and give it a slight mix. Now 
This is gonna be really, what do you say, too sugary. So I'm gonna add a bit of acidic into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of lemon into it. Okay, so I recommend using the big ones because they have more acidity to it. I'm gonna go and give it a good little bit of squeeze. Okay, that should do. Now is the waiting time. Now I recommend not to mix it after other than from here and wait till the syrup takes color. You have to do everything fast because this hardens up real fast. A bit over there, a bit for you, a bit for you, a bit for you, a bit for you, and last off, right there. I'll equally distribute it everywhere. Let's just keep that aside. Now, as you've already seen, it's already hard enough. Now I'm gonna give it a good circle, circle, circle. So it's be on the sides too. Now don't worry, it's gonna look really what do you say, dark in color. But then it's it will not taste that sugary because I've added some bit of lemon into it. Now that's what it's gonna look like. It's really gonna be very dark. So now let's wait until it's hard okay, enough. Now, as you've seen. Wild animal. No, it's okay. The syrup has, what do you say, hard enough now. So I'm moving, so I'm moving, so I'm moving. I'm gonna keep it back. Now you might ask why I kept it in an other box. It is because I'm gonna pour in hot boiling water so that when we keep the caramel to get cooked in the oven, it gets cooked below and on the top equally. So now you wanna be careful to give it one last mix because you don't want anything to settle down. You wanna get everything mixed well. Now, keep that whisker aside and take the bowl and pour it into it. I will show you when I have put everything into it because I can get really, me me really, really, really messy. So, okay, now I've got all of my custard in. The reason why I didn't show you how I put it in because I don't want you to see how messy I am. So, after putting all of my custard in, as you see, there is a small wildlife in the middle of it. There's a small air bubble in it. So, what I'm gonna do, take a tissue, fold it into a pan. Now, bake it, that's it. So you get a silky, smooth texture on the top. Now, break it everything, everywhere. Okay. Now, get some hot water in your kettle or whatever. Pour it into your wash. This is uh, required for the best way, for the best result you can get. I require this. I'm gonna add a bit of it. That should do. Yes. Now you might wonder how uh, the base of sugar it got hardened up below, right? So it will get what do you say liquefied after I put it in the oven. So I've got my own uh, uh, what do you say? Yeah, that's it. I've got my oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. Now what you guys want to do is keep it in your oven for about 35 minutes to get the best result. To check whether your custard has cooked properly. You can take a toothpick and pick it inside and if you take, get it out clean, that means your custard is really cooked. Now, let's get this thing to the oven. Keep it for 35 minutes and we, I will see you guys after 35 minutes. Bye! Okay guys, so the long awaited time has arrived. So after I kept it for the oven for 35 minutes, one more thing. Uh, the thing which I kept under the body wash, you guys can either keep it or not keep it because if you keep it, it's gonna take a longer time to bake in the sense it's gonna take like one hour or more so uh, I recommend not to keep it but then if you keep it you get a better texture but you need to have patience so the final result is over here but then not yet not yet not yet I'm gonna put it in your plate and show you guys so just a sec ladies and gentlemen this is how you cook creme caramel in your houses so I got my creme caramel uh, prepared there. There were six of them. I put the rest uh, in another plate. Now I got one to show you guys how 
beautifully that came there's no, no cracks anywhere we broke the air bubbles on the top that's why it's plain silky see how jelly it is okay now i'm gonna take a small bite of it let's take a bite from here okay look how crispy that is now let's go that is perfectly cooked awesome it's really easy to make you guys have to try it in your houses so once again this is how you cook caramel in your houses see you guys in the next one peace